In this video, you'll learn how to get the Gear 5 in Roblox A Universal Time. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating Roblox A Universal Time content. Alright, let's jump right into it. First, head to the Bartholomew Kuma NPC in the city center to move to Orange Town. Once you are in the Orange Town, follow my lead to locate the Shanks boss. Now interact with him to receive the quest of defeating the 20 pirates in the town. Let's find and defeat pirates. Now, go back to the Shanks boss to take the next quest. The next quest is to defeat the boss, Buggy the Clown. Buggy spawns in the center of Orange Town in front of the tavern stairs. He reappears every 15 minutes, so you might need to wait for his respawn. After he is defeated, return to Shanks to claim your reward. Talk with him to obtain the Gomu Devil Fruit. Equip it from your inventory to see how it looks. You need Rank 2, Ascension, to get Gear 2. In our case, we are already in Ascension 10. The best area for grinding levels fast is the Curses area, as they give a good amount of XPs. After reaching the second ascension, head to the Orange Town to meet Luffy NPC at the docks. Now interact with the Luffy and he'll give you quests to obtain the gear 2 and 3. Remember, all his quests need to be completed using Gomu's ability. The first quest he will give you is to get him a Meat on the Bone, which is very easy to get from chests. After feeding him the meat, He'll give you the next quest to defeat 25 pirates using Gomu Fruit. Now, the third part of his quest is to defeat Buggy the Clown with the Gomu Fruit. Let's go on to fight and defeat him. Switch to Gomu Fruit to hit the final blow to finish him. The next task is to defeat the Surgeon of Death boss with the help of Gomu ability as well. Now, the final part of his questline is to beat Luffy himself. So, let's take him down using the Gomu ability to complete the quest. After defeating Luffy, you will get the Gear 2 transformation in your Gomu Fruit abilities. Now go to the Curses area to grind till rank 10 Ascension. After reaching the Ascension rank 10, head to the Orange Town. Once here, Follow me to the Epic Flow NPC. Interact with this NPC to get the Nitron's special adventure quests. Now, we are going to do the Save the Village quest. 
interact with the Valkyrie NPC in the city center, and choose the Save the Village quest. We need to defeat the Kuro boss to save the Syrup Village. Now follow me to find the Bartholomew Kuma NPC to teleport to the Syrup Village. Once here, find the Usopp NPC to know his intent. After that, go on to defeat Kuro, a level 120 boss using Gomu ability. It may take some time to kill the boss. Remember, you need to complete this quest three times. Now, talk with the Valkyrie NPC again to take the Lost Sword quest. This is another task to be completed three times to make it count for the Gear 5 hunt. For this quest, you need to meet Zoro NPC. Follow my lead closely to locate him in the floating village. Now, interact with the Zoro NPC and he will tell you the locations where his swords may be found. In our case, the areas are Floating Village, Bike Park, and Coliseum. Now, let's search these areas to find all of his swords. First, let's explore this village to find a sword. Next, head to the Bike Park to find another one. Now, head to the ferry boat captain at the port to teleport to the Colosseum. Explore this area to find the last sword. Now, return to the Joestar Mansion. Now head back to the Zoro NPC in Floating Village. Talk with Zoro to give his swords and take your reward. Next, we will head to the Marineford to encounter the Whitebeard boss. This tall raid boss spawns every three hours, and it is quite hard to beat him. Use the Gomu ability to beat him. Now, let's defeat Shanks using the Gomu ability to proceed forward with the quest line. Next, we'll take down the Surgeon of Death boss with the help of Gomu ability as well. Next, head to Valentine Island, where you can summon the Boa boss using the Heart item. You need to equip the Heart in your hand and press it to spawn the boss in a few seconds at this spot. Now interact with the Valkyr NPC and select the Protect a Hardpoint quest. In this quest, you need to find a glowing red circle that spawns randomly on the map. Locate the circle to begin the quest. Now stay inside the circle and defend the point through five waves, each getting harder after a few seconds. You must survive without dying. You must complete this quest three times to stay in the hunt of Gear 5. Now the next task is to get the 1 million bounty. Killing each player will give you a 50,000 bounty. So to complete this part, you need to kill a player at least 20 times. 
The next task is to defeat 100 fleeing prisoners, which can be found at Joestar Manor. Move to the ferry boat captain to go to Joestar Mansion. Once here, kill the prisoners using the Gomu fruit to complete this part of the quest line. Now, let's defeat 100 pirates using Gomu ability at the Orange Town. After completing the quest line, talk to the quest giver NPC named Epic Flow 203 to receive the Hito Devil Fruit as a reward. Now equip the Hito Fruit from the inventory and consume the Hito Devil Fruit to get the Nika, the Gear 5 Devil Fruit. Now, let me show you how it looks. That's it, folks. You just learned how to get Gear 5 in Roblox A Universal Time.